Hey guys, this is Artie from Reliable Solar Solutions. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get a MC4 connector, which is you know between your solar panels and maybe your microinverters or optimizers. How to get one apart if you don't have your disconnect tool. Let's say there's a, a somebody on the roof they're trying to um, do some work around you know chimney, skylight, whatever. They have to get the uh, solar panels apart. I mean, you really should call somebody who knows what they're doing. But in case of emergency, uh, let me show you what to do if you don't have the tool. Okay, so what we need to do is get these little nubs right here. They bite in and get them disconnected. So this is what they would look like when they're apart. You get your male and female, and what you're trying to do is get these little uh, pieces to squeeze in so you can pull them apart. So uh, if you have a pair of needle nose pliers, you can do it with that. Some people can do it with their fingernails and push it in. And push the other side in and wiggle it and pull it apart. Uh, I don't have fingernails, so this um, needle nose plier is what I would do. Is uh, squeeze it like this. See if I can wiggle it apart. If I can't, I would spin it around. Squeeze it from this end. See if I can get it to go. It might be a little tricky. It'd take a little a few tries, but the key is too, you don't want to you don't want to chew up the the ends of this plastic too much so that it doesn't slide either in or out in the future. But I'm just going to squeeze this again. Look down. See how it's squeezed. And start to, wig start to wiggle it apart. Like I said, it's not the easiest thing, but when, it, when you don't have a tool, you've got to make do with what you have. Also, if you use glasses, need glasses, make sure you have those because it's tough to see what you're doing. There we go. I got, I got one side's done. I got it started. And the other side's done, you just pull it apart. So basically what I did is I just crimped these down and got it started in this little channel here. Then you wiggle them and pull apart. And that's about it. Might take you a few minutes, but at least you, you know, in case of emergency, you can do that.